out about this now. See? <laughs> so the secrets they expose. <laughs> <laughs>
with their dogs, cost. spay or neuter. Cost. I think financial responsibility, and then I, our lives are so crazy. Yeah. You know, and it's it's a fast paced world. And they mm -hmm. want to breed them, or and before they know it, that three months is up. AKC breeders are becoming backyard breeders. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You're getting Parvo, and you're getting. Yeah. We've adopted out 61. Here, Last right? month, the average stay a dog was here was five days. Wow. So that's a, awesome. It's a very quick turn. Oh my gosh. Why did you guys start to volunteer? I lost my dog of 16 years. I started watching Laura's Hope when um, Hope was here and got hooked. And so after my dog, I lost my dog, I missed him. Mm -hmm. So I decided this was what I want to do. Yeah. She kept saying she was going to volunteer and she never did. So I gave her a free hoodie <laughs> with her name yeah. on it. Yes. She gave me a hoodie with my name it on it. It took you years to give me one with my name <laughs> on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I find out about this now. See? So the secret's be exposed. <laughs> on the free hoodie out of it now. That's, that's how you become part of the team. Just get your name and you are now somebody. So that's it. <laughs> How'd you get hooked up with us? I wanted to volunteer. I wanted to, I love dogs, so I just decided to volunteer at a rescue. And I heard good things about this rescue. I don't know who lied to me, but somebody, <laughs> <laughs> but somebody did. <laughs> Yeah. Why did you guys start volunteering? Karen bullied me into it. <laughs> I started watching Laura's Hope during COVID and I was sent home to work. And Grace reached out one day saying she needed someone to help her do applications. And I stepped up because I live in New York, so it's easier to, for me to do that from there. Yeah. Caitlin, why did you start volunteering? I needed service hours for something. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so I really <laughs> National Junior yeah, I never left. People don't know unless you do this what you sacrifice. Yeah, absolutely. It's like being, I was a farmer's daughter. Mm -hmm. So I know what it's like to sacrifice and not go on vacations because you can't leave the cows. You can't leave, yep. Well, if it's not for Caitlin, I don't leave the rescue. Yeah. You sacrifice so much just to be, you know, to take care for the animals. Exactly. So it doesn't exactly. matter. It's like, but. People don't realize, like, this is a 24-hour thing. They don't. They don't, don't realize that you eat, sleep it, you breathe it. Allie. Hi, Allie. What do you get out of it? For me, personally, it's um, seeing the families come and adopt the dogs. Mm -hmm. and you know that you made a difference. And uh, especially, like, um, this last time we went to PetSmart. I mean, that was just amazing. Like, we were able to... Stopped out five dogs. Five, five dogs, yeah. That event, and then we meet the people, and then we see them come and adopt them. And <laughs> the camaraderie okay. between all of everybody that's, that's yeah. here. It's us. For me, it's my sanity away from my real job. Yeah. yeah. Is there anything that you guys think people should know before they volunteer? you got to be happy to see the dogs go. Yeah. The dogs yeah. can't stay. They need a home. Right. Mm -hmm. And that, yeah, you, if you volunteer, even if you foster, you got to give that dog back. Yeah. yeah. You know, right. Also, too. You also see sadness too. Puppies get born and some don't make it. Yeah. Or some die and we don't know why. Yeah. You know, so you have to be able to handle that. Did you Did you think it was gonna go like this far? Like, have you? You know, did you like? Oh, I'm just gonna grab a couple dogs and help them find some homes. And you know, fifteen years later, we're adopting out hundreds of dogs a year. You know, we're well over 3,000 dogs. Amazing following. It's amazing. Uh, and I think why it's so amazing is because people get on and they'll say, we got our dog from here and it was perfect. It's crazy we're talking about rescue, but our Facebook page is more about just rescuing dogs. We've created a community of women and men, but mm -hmm. a lot, mostly women, who support each other, who mm -hmm. pray for each other, who um, have each other's backs. And you'll get a message, or I'll get a message that says, "Hey, I'm sorry, I'm not, I haven't been on, but I've got breast cancer, and there's, and I'm going into the hospital." That way. I think 200 and some people on the on the post that we posted, please pray for Angelo. Just I said, if you, she said, I don't know what I'm going to do. I said, you're going to read the, you're going to read every comment. Yeah. And it's going to give you strength. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and it, it was just it's amazing. Just, uh, it's, yeah, it's 
And people get on there and they have a problem with their dog and everybody gives suggestions. Yeah. We just did a recipe book. Irish potato soup. Mm. Cranberry brie bites. Oh, so I'm looking at the glazed sweet potatoes. <laughs> when we do events at PetSmart, people flock there. Yeah. You know, because we're so transparent and they know Caitlin, they know Lisa, they know Karen, they know everybody, you know? Mm -hmm. And they come and they're like, oh my God, Grace. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm you seeing know, you in person for the first time. This I know, is amazing. Exactly. <laughs> You're like, I'm just here. <laughs> yeah. You know, why aren't you on camera? Why don't you show your face? Everybody else. Because it's not about me. Right. It's about the damn dog. I'm not here to gain popularity. Yeah. I can give a rat's ass what you think about me. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and I have haters. Yeah. I do have haters. I, I, everybody, I think anybody anywhere yeah. is like, you're always going to have haters, whether it's, you know, in your personal life or outside yeah. of it. And it doesn't matter. It's like, as long as you're not hurting anybody and you know right. that you're doing a good job and you're doing your best, like everybody else just needs to, you know. Back off. A lot of people want to do rescue, but they don't, they can't. Yeah. It's just, they can't. So just to be able to be a part of something this big. We're having our third annual Floresoap Rescue Fundraiser at the Christy Mathewson Park, the Little League Field, on uh, August 5th. 12 to 4. 12 to 4. No, we, 10, 10, 10, oh, 10, 10 to 4. 10 to 4. <laughs> yeah, 10 to 4. <laughs> Let me read that. <laughs> it's upside down. I'm only joking. <laughs> I'm looking at it right side, so freaking. <laughs> Puppy Pie Bingo. A magician Elvis. Magish Elvis. Food. Music. And all our wonderful the dog parade, dog parade, dog parade. right? Because this is a phenomenal opportunity to do some really cool Christmas shopping because we have some really cool vendors. Dog Father Creations, Dog Mom, Mom Cookies. We have Bully Soaps. If you come, Bully Soaps is oh. the place to go. And these are all independent people that are just trying to make a living. They're small businesses. Mm -hmm. And that's what I thrive on because I want to support them. We have our Pampered Chef Gal, Avon. Yeah. Our dog tasting table is companies that have donated. Allison. Anime, Dog Mom, Toaster Treats, the Primal have sent us samples and all these treats can either be ordered online or they can order them right from Stately Pet Supply, which is one of our our people that donate really heavy to us. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's family oriented. We're going to have food vendors, but our, tape, our food tent is going to be like a dollar hot dog, a dollar fifty hamburger, yeah. you know, a dollar soda, just so people can come out and afford it. And just have a good time. Yeah. Our two games is donation only. Girl. The thing is, honesty is the best policy. That's why everything is transparent here. Every, all of our lives. Yeah, like, what is something that you wish people or the public knew about before adopting a dog? That it's a commitment. A mm -hmm. lifetime commitment. Mm -hmm. They don't expect the dog to just walk in and be at home. It takes a while. Three days to decompress, decompress three weeks to know a schedule, and three months to feel like they're at home. And I say that over and over every time I work with an applicant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lady pulled up and she said, yeah, I need to take your dog. And I said, okay, give me your vet records. Well, I don't have vet records. Do you have kids? Oh, I do. I said, you take your kids to get their shots? Yeah. Oh, wait, of course I did. Yeah. But then why did you take your dog? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just that simple. Yeah. And I think people don't understand, like, when you when you get, you know, people think, oh, I'm going to get myself a dog or a cat. Like, I'm just going to eat food, water. I'm going to love it. You know, take it and play with it. And it's so much more than just it that. Is. And I get it that some people can't do the extravagance the extravagance like mm -hmm. some people like when my dogs go in every so many years it's full blood work yeah especially because i have two dogs in palliative care right now right so every three months if they've made it three months it's full blood work because if those dogs have one ounce of suffering i'm not letting them do it because they are such amazing dogs mm -hmm. that my job to them is to make sure that they don't suffer and that they live the best life they can yeah you know mm -hmm. absolutely and some people can't do that so we supply them with vaccinations if they need a vaccine lady this week was surrendering to doctors because she couldn't afford to take care of them yeah I said well what do you need she goes I just need food she goes and treats I said no problem if you want to keep your dogs I will supply you in food and treats and I'll yeah. do a, re a rabies vaccination if it's due Mm -hmm. It cost me $25 for the vaccination, okay? Yeah. And all of our food is donated. Uh, Stately Pet Supply is phenomenal about that. Mm -hmm. And then I just say, well, what food were you feeding? And then we go online and we try to match it closest. The closest to So they don't get it. the diarrhea. Yeah. And then we just give them food. And I said, come back when you're ready for more. And that's amazing. And she just goes, you'll do this for me. I said, until you get on your feet, I absolutely will do. I said, but I don't want you taking advantage of me. But there are people out there that are struggling. Because everybody goes through hard times. Oh, this is the shit shuffle.
time at Laura's Hope Rescue. Everybody was so much fun and so inviting and we just all had a blast as you can tell from all the video snips that we had. Um, I'll put links below for Laura's Hope Rescue for their Facebook page, for their website, so you can maybe even go get one of these or any of the shirts and merchandise that they have right now. If you can, go out on August 5th to their fundraiser. It's going to be a great time and I'm excited to be able to get out there too. So thank you so much for everybody. Stay sassy.